Naughty Gang, Naughty Gang, Naughty Gang. Welcome back to the channel. In today's Madden 22 video, we're going to be going over how you can make the most risk free coins in Madden 22. If you're new to the channel, drop a thumbs up on the video. Let's keep 40 to 50 likes on every single release. Make sure that you are subscribed with your notifications on. PlayStation first. Say Naughty Gang in the comment section. Let's get into some shout out. We got a shout out for Scalp Different. We got a shout out for Braden Kingston and a shout out for Jaw 15. If you want to be shouted out, you know what to do. Make sure that you active on every single video and go in the comment section and say Naughty Gang. PlayStation first, go crazy. Let's get into today's method. This is your one stop shop for all Madden needs. Whether you're looking for some fly merchandise, you're looking for eBooks, you're looking for a Patreon membership, or you just wanna become part of the Tutty Squad. I appreciate all the love and support. Everything is in the link in the description. Let's get it. All right, so risk-free coins is gonna be Team Builders 2. Now, according to the playoffs, with the playoffs coming today at around 4.30 and then later on tonight around 8.15, you want to take advantage of these Team Builders 2 insets in the cards with hype. So the Raiders is going to be playing in a couple hours and then the 49ers is tomorrow and it's another team later on. So for right now, you want to get cards that's going to sell for at least 30 3,000 coins. Once you lose text, that's going to leave you with 30,000. Most of these players, now that a lot of people are focused on the reroll, you can make these players from between 15,000 and 18,000 coins. That's going to give you a 12 to 15,000 profit every single time. So I'm going to give you the prices that you should be looking at. This is exactly what I've been doing since I built my entire team. I finally have my team up to a 93 overall Lions theme team. And every time that you complete a set, you will see yourself get coins, 100 coins here, 100 coins there. That starts to add up, okay? Right now we are at 200,000 coins after spending another five to 600,000 on training and finishing off my team. So this Jason Verrett right here, we just finished him off. I'm expecting for him to get at least one more upgrade. The 49ers is still in the top five theme teams with a lot of legends coming out. Now, I'm going to let you see my team right now. I was up to about 800, 900,000 coins. After using all these methods, I go down to about 100,000 coins, and then I will go all the way up to about 700, 800,000 coins. And now the market is at its best price to be able to make my team. So you can see I have a pretty decent offensive line. I have uh, 53 out of 50 Detroit Lions, all the stretch cards. So I've been using a lot of coins okay so i'm not one of them people that have three five million coins with an 80 overall team i have a very good offensive line all the detroit lions players i have the best tight ends that the detroit lions could get i have 94 ebron 94 hawkinson i have kelvin johnson with deep out elite adrian peterson legarrett bunt once barry sanders gets another upgrade i'll be able to upgrade these two i have the new golden tate Devin Hester gets every Kim. So once Roy Williams gets an upgrade, I will be able to put him on the outside with Kelvin Johnson. Golden Tate, I like to keep in the slot. Okay, now if they come up with a Dante Culpepper, I'll be able to upgrade him. So we have over the amount of Lions that we need on the defensive side. We have Cam Chancellor with Lions Kim. We have Tracy Walker up to a 95 overall. Taylor Mays at level 50. He gets Lions Kim. Kelvin Johnson, 98 overall. Now these players, I don't always try to get the best players because linebackers do not see my field unless we are on the goal line. I got the free Jalen Ramsey up to a 97 overall and then Barney needs an upgrade. We got the 95 overall Amani right here. We got the Darius Slay 99 speed. We got 98 and 99 speed on a lot of these outdated cards. Even Philip Buchanan. Once he gets an upgrade, he will be in the top two cornerbacks. So we will have Slay, Buchanan, and Barney all getting upgrades. We got Freeney, who should get an ultimate legend. We got Nadama Sue, probably will get one more card. We got Nagata, get another card. Then we got the free Jack Youngblood. So the team is looking good. It costed a little bit more than what I was expecting, but 
using these methods, the 500 get a coin method, get yourself some real cheap elites and then use them to build onto your team. A lot of people is asking questions by what do I mean by the 500 get a player method. You just come over here to the store, you come to players and right here for 500 coins, I would spend about 12 to 15,000 opening these up. You're spending 500 coins and if you pull an elite, you can just go ahead, resell that elite for 22, 2300 coins. That's gonna be an easy 12 to 1500 profit every single time. If you get the golds, you can take them golds, put them into the exchange. So if you put three golds into the exchange, that's gonna help you get a 80 to 82 overall elite. So you have a chance to pull elites, you have a chance to pull power-ups that go for a lot of coins, and you have a chance to make elites. So it's a lot of opportunities in this pack, the cheapest pack in the game right here to just get some free elites. You take them elites, you get them into the team builder, you snipe yourself three or four pieces that you need, you spend 15 to 17,000 coins, you turn around and sell that team builder for at least 33,000. Don't undercut yourself whenever you are using these methods. Make sure that you get the profit that you deserve. So if you see one up for 26,000, especially right now during the playoffs, you see one for 26,000, still put yours up for eight hours for 32 to 33,000 at the least. So if we go look at the binder right now at the cards that I just pulled. So just looking at the binder with the cards that I just pulled. So for 500 coins, this is 500 coins, 500 coins, 500 coins, 500 coins. If you look at this 72 overall right here, we made almost 6,000 coin profit. He's a good card right here, goes into a set. So this right here is a 6,000 coin profit okay now we also pulled an 85 overall so if you look at this 85 overall this right here is about a 4100 coin profit now between these two cards that's about 10,000 coin profit that I made now everybody not gonna have the same results it's gonna be a lot of people that pull like these 63s but you can see he's up for 5,000 so the market is at a rise that's 14 to 15,000 profit between three cards you just got to get some glitchy pulls so this one is normal i spent 500 coins on this card i'm going to be able to sell it for about 1900 you probably can sell it for two thousand coins okay so easy easy profit spend 500 once you sell it you're going to make about 12 1300 back some cards might only go for 600 to 700 coins but i would take these cards right here you can either put them into the sets or you can sell them back. So 5,000, 8,000, 7,000 is what they sold for. Somebody just sold one for 1,000. That was an easy snipe. So that person just hurried up and went and grabbed that. So we're gonna do 4,600. We're not gonna do the 6,000 price. We're gonna do 4,600 because that's still over a 4,000 coin profit. This one right here, we're gonna do for 4,700, okay? I don't wanna be greedy, but I wanted to sell fast. So instead of me getting the outrageous price, I just wanna put it up for 45 to 4700 walk away with that 4000 profit so we made this card for about 17 18000 i'm going to take this card the Verit, and i'm going to put him back on the block now either one of these 49ers is good you can do the buccaneers it's a lot of good cards in the playoffs that are at a high price. So as long as you can get 33,000 off of them. So 28 minutes ago, 36,000. Two hours ago, 35,000. And then 29,000, somebody lowballed them. I don't wanna do that. So I wanna put it at 30,000 minimum right here. And then I will go up to about 33,000. I'm gonna make sure that I get at least 30,000 after taxes and that's going to be a 12 to 15 thousand profit depending on what you snipe your cards at so let's take a look at mutt gg and i'm going to show you the best cards to go after and then i'm going to show you my snipe filter so if you come over to mutt gg you can see jason verrett right here his highest he sold was 40 thousand, and he did that one two three different times okay so now we're going to go back to a different team builder it's a lot of different cards you can use. You got Jason Verrett right here, high 30,000. You got uh, Villanova for 33,000. And then you have DJ Reed Jr. He's a Seahawk for 33,000. And then if you scroll through, you can go to previous. You're going to also find these other cards right here. Taylor Lewine for the Titans who are in the playoffs. A good investment. He's up 17.2%. 35.9k is his average okay so 
the uh, Titans is the number one C so this card is gonna go up and down so like I said put it at 33,000 minimum but you can sell it for up to about 36 37 thousand all right so if you look at my recent bids you see I've been getting these 81 overalls 80 to 81 overalls I got this one for 1150 this is when you are being patient on the auction house I got this one for 2000 gonna need 185 to 86 overall then you're gonna need three 83s and four 80 to 82s so my 83s you can see i'm doing all these in the three thousands you can be more patient and get them for about 24 2500 i use the legends filter for this one and then this one i would just do 80 to 82s i would do regular so we got 1150 right here 2000 2300 my 85 i got for 4100 you can be more patient take your overall profit up by getting it for about 34 to 3600 the less that you get the card for the more profit you would make so through this video between the team builders that i finished spending about 17,000 coins and then i pulled them four packs another 2,000 coins 19,000 coins once i sell the team builder off and then the cards out of the 500 coin pack that would be an easy 50 to 60,000 coin profit now and that was in 10 to 15 minutes in an hour you could be making a hundred thousand to a hundred and sixty thousand coins profit baby <laughs>